Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Apple has just released iOS and iPadOS 13.5 to the general public, as well as iOS 12.4.7. Now before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. iOS 13.5 has released everyone following the GM build, which released two days ago, to developers. This update is coming in at 284.9 megabytes on my iPad Pro 10 and a half inch, coming from iPadOS 13.4.1. This is a rather large file size due to the fact that this update brings some new features, as well as a number of bug fixes, security patches, and general optimizations, plus improvements iOS 13.5 is the first 0.5 milestone we have ever seen in iOS, and it will be the last milestone update to iOS 13 before the release of iOS 14. This update brings some new features including an easier way to unlock Face ID while wearing a mask, introduces the first iteration of Apple and Google's Exposure Notification API for contact tracing, and introduces a way to control automatic prominence of video tiles in a group FaceTime call. This update also adds an option to automatically share health and other essential information from your medical ID with emergency services when you place an emergency call. This feature is currently only available to users here in the United States. Now of course this update also brings some bug fixes and improvements just like always. iOS 13.5 fixes an issue where users may see a black screen when trying to play streaming video from some websites, just in time for WWDC, and addresses an issue in the share sheet where suggestions may not load. Unlike iOS 13.5, iPadOS 13.5 5 resolves a security issue, including some that could lead to unexpected memory corruption or stability issues with the Mail app. Now, there are also general improvements and likely more security fixes included within this update, for example, an issue where data would fail to be secured while using a VPN and or a mail vulnerability where a user could gain remote access to the target user's inbox by simply sending an email. The build number of, for this release is 17F575, and we can see here that the modem firmware version has not changed, meaning that any connectivity issues with Wi-Fi or cellular you may have had have not been fixed. Yes, you heard me correctly, iOS 12.4.7 has been released to everyone using an iPhone 5S, iPad Air 1st generation, iPad Mini 2, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, and iPod Touch 6th generation. This update change log is very generic, stating the following, iOS 12.4.7 provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. iOS 12.4.7 comes in at 48.1 megabytes on my iPhone 5S. Now the small file size is due to the fact that this update only brings security fixes, however it's amazing to see Apple still caring about these devices. The build number for this update is 16G192 and the modem firmware has remained the same. Now let me know in the comments if you want to see full reviews of iOS 12.4.7 on the iPhone 5S and iPod Touch 6th generation. Now of course I will have a full review of iOS 13.5 coming later this week for the iPhone SE first generation and iPhone 7. Now the iPhone 7 may be a little later as I want to have some more time to test it out, see how battery life and overheating come along. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video, if I found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.